Hello everyone. So today we're talking about how to speed up a slow horse. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you have a slow horse that's kind of lazy. And I'm gonna give you some tips to help you wake up your lazy horse. Um, be sure to check out in the description. I have a free mini course on rider position because of course it's really always important that you're in the correct position so that you're able to give effective aids if you want your horse to get a little bit more awake and also give this video a thumbs up be sure to subscribe and click the box so that you get notified because i post a new dressage video every wednesday so this is kensington he is my seven-year-old and sometimes he can be a little bit like asleep and lazy and i have to work on waking him up so we're going to give you guys a few exercises that you can do to wake your horses up um, the first thing that's important to do is that when, when you want your horse to go, you use your driving aids. Your driving aids are your legs, are the primary driving aids, and your whip. So your whip is what we call an auxiliary aid, which should only be used to reinforce your primary driving aid, which is your legs. So one thing that I do a lot if I have a horse that can be a little bit lazy. The first thing that you have to really think about with a, a lazier horse is that you actually want to take keep your legs off of your horse more. So with a hot horse you want to keep your legs near. With a lazy horse you want to take your leg more off so that when you put it on you can get a reaction. Now a game that I like to play with lazy horses is just basically what I call a leg and whip resensitizing exercise. So I'm just gonna walk around here on a loose rein. I'm gonna close my leg, kick, kick, get him to trot, and then just slowly let him come back to the walk and pet him. Good boy. So I'm not really even worried right now that he's on the bit or anything. I'm just gonna close my leg, Kick, kick, he trots. Good boy. I let him go for a little bit, reassure him, and then let him come back to the walk. No, you don't get to stop. My heels are down. Close my leg, trot. Good boy. Good boy. And then slowly let him come back to the walk. Good boy. Close my leg. Good. Good boy. So I'm really just focusing on that simple reaction to my leg that, okay, I'm walking, my legs are long. You always wanna start with your calf. So I'm closing my calf. He didn't listen, kick, kick with my heel. Notice how quick I was with my leg there. Like I closed my calf. I gave him about one Mississippi to react. And then when I came with my spur, it was like bump, bump. So it was calf. Bump, bump, good boy. And then slowly let him come back to the walk. So that's a really good way to work on the leg resensitizing. It's also really important that like here when I'm walking and just kind of testing, okay, I'm gonna push my heels down. I'm gonna take my leg away. He has to stay walking on his own. Now what you can also do in addition to the leg resensitizing is you can work on resensitizing your horse to the whip. Because what I see a lot of times is people like, they're hitting their horse so hard that you can hear the whip on the other side of the arena and the horse isn't doing anything. So remember that horses can feel a fly on their back. So what you're gonna do is similar to what we just did with our legs. You're not gonna really worry about their head or anything. You're just gonna start with your whip. Tickle, 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 tickle. He trotted. The second that your horse trots on, you just stop hitting them with the whip and then let them come gradually back to the walk. So you wanna start with your whip with like a really light tickle. Like a lot of times people, they go to use their whip and they just like hack their horse like so hard. So you need to use your whip in different tones. So I'm just gonna start with like a little lightest like whisper, like a fly, good boy. Think about just the pressure of a fly with your whip and you wanna get your horse to respond to that. So I'm gonna start again, 
Just like a little fly, whisper, 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 trot. Good boy, good boy. So you can see how in just repeating that a few times, Kensington has gotten like way more sensitive where like I just tickle, tickle with a whip, tickle, tickle, good boy, good boy. And in this instance, when I'm doing this with a whip, I'm not really using my leg at all. I'm just working on, okay, teaching him like tickle, tickle, whip means go. The second he goes, good boy. It's really important when you have a horse that's lazy that you remember to release the pressure and reward them. Because sometimes with a lazy horse, we get so like focused on trying to get them to go that we're just like driving and driving and going and driving and going and we forget to ever take the pressure off. So you always wanna like ask for an aid, release, ask for an aid, release. So once you've done the leg and whip resensitizing exercise, the next thing you're gonna do is walk, trot, walk transitions. Transitions are the best way to get a horse more sensitive and a little bit hotter. The more that you just like go around and around the arena, the lazier and slower your horse is going to get. You're gonna end up working harder than your horse. Let me know if you ever feel like you're working harder, breathing harder, sweatier than your horse at the end of the ride. So with these walk trot transitions, what I want is I want the upward transition, like the walk to trot transition, to be really abrupt and like kind of an explosion up. And then that you go really gradually in the downward transition. So I'm walking here. I'm gonna think about closing my leg and I want my horse to go quick, big forward trot. So I want that upward transition to be very quick. I'm gonna take my time to establish a nice trot here. And now I'm gonna go gradually think about keeping my horse forward, forward. Don't want him to stop. See, I gave him a little tickle there. Don't stop. Good boy. Get a nice walk going. Now, come on, trot. Good boy. The second he trots on, make sure to get your heels down and take your leg off. Because if your horse goes and your leg stays kicking, then your horse never got rewarded for going. So gradual downward. Now, come on, go. Quick upward. Ah, that's a good boy. Ah, that's a good boy. And again, very gradually in the downward transition. Good boy. Close my leg. Come. Quick in the upward transition. Boy, remember to take your legs off and reward your horse. So again, with a lazy horse, you've got to really remember to take your legs off. So gradually in the downward, keep him walking and go. Quick in that upward transition. Ah, that's a good boy. Good, taking my lower leg off. Gradually think about him stepping forward and going slowly to the walk. Keep walking, active in the walk. And quick upward. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. So those are just a couple of exercises that you can do to help speed up a horse that's a little bit on the slower side. Also remember that, and like I'm sure that you noticed in the video is that when I, whenever I was using my leg aids and my driving aids, I was really careful not to block him in front. So you always want to make sure that when you ask your horse to go, that you go with your horse and that you don't accidentally stop them right away, that there's no confusion there. So make sure to allow your horse to go when they do go, because when you have a horse that's kind of lazy, it's it's probably our fault. Horses are not by nature lazy. So it's something that we kind of make them lazy by trying to stay safe, 
trying to get them safe for us to ride. So then we just have to work on resensitizing them. So I really hope this video gave you a few little exercises that you can work on to get your horse a little hotter and more reactive. Thank you.